we know that we can make a difference and we will make a difference. I dare you to dream, dream with me. We can pray to Allah, we can pray to God, we can pray to our supreme beings. So I say to you today, this evening, continue to pray. But when we finish praying, let's get off our knees and let's get busy and make things happen. Let's come together as a community, as one, and let's be that positive change. We can and we will make a difference. May God, Allah, continue to bless you. And here in the United States, we're, we are all American, but we are also Arab or Muslim, Arab Christians, Arab Jews, Middle Eastern, North African, but we're American. How can media and film better portray people from that part of the world? Because we know we can't expect governments to provide all the solutions, and we need the private sector, we need the media to also take a role in these initiatives. Understanding all of these little things that are happening around the world is important and monumental because it is not just one size fits all. We're trying to understand the diversity of Islam around the world. We're trying to understand the organic, incredible ways in which local communities are making a difference. Specifically, I am looking at the next generation. More than 45% of the world's population is under the age of 30. In Muslim communities, that percentage is far higher. It is up to us to engage over the long term, to build partnerships with this generation. And so we're really investing a lot of what we're doing in the young generation. Now the reason why I'm telling you all of this is because it's connected very specifically to how we think about culture. And what I want to talk about is what's different about the business world we're working in now, and what are the tools available to us so that we can actually forge these cultural bridges in new ways. Now, that said, I want to let you know that I'm very mindful that technology is rolled out in different ways in different regions around the world, whether it's Southeast Asia, whether it's Muslim communities in the Middle East or in the United States. So we've, we've talked about Facebook a little bit and social. Who here is on Facebook? Can I see? Wow. wow. Why is this connectivity so important to filmmaking, to media, to branding, to advertisers? Let me tell you why. Because for a long time, in some ways, we've almost been separated from each other. You know, Farrell was alluding to the fact that Washington in the past has often had a top-down approach. It's the same with business. We have a hierarchy. We know our job, we know our bosses, we know our position. And it's the same with media. We've had these media monopolies which told us what to buy, what to think, what was cool, and so on. And over the years, it was originally, and sometimes it's still very much about supporting American independent artists because there wasn't, there still isn't anything else quite like it. But it has grown, and I think it originally started with Havana um, in 1988, when we decided to take our first program internationally and support local artists from the region. To learn about, for example, when Thomas Jefferson, you know, was writing uh, things related to the Bill of Rights and the Constitution, there's historical fact to show that he was referencing the Holy Quran as well, in addition to other works that he was looking at for sources of support for these various rights and freedoms. Uh, some of the first Muslims, unfortunately, came as slaves from Africa to this country. So the history is a lot longer than people assume. And I think we've missed that uh, a great deal. And when you, when, when you think about how we sell things, we absolutely get that selling to a 17-year-old is different than a 27-year-old. But why don't we think about that in terms of the other things that we're looking at as well? Thank you very much for your time, for participating. And if anybody wants to remain on the list for the Levantine Cultural Center's future programming, please sign up. And um, we hope to engage in further dialogue with all of you. Thank you. What did you think of tonight's panel? I thought it was 
impeccable. It was excellent because we really got so many angles on this issue, the political angle, the State Department angle, business, marketing, the uh, alternative film. I thought it was incredibly interesting. It was just really nice to see everything from the perspective of the speakers. And I think um, it was very eye-opening. And to see also how the Obama administration is going to work to create some sort of partnership between the Muslim communities and other Americans. So um, definitely, it was really good. Um, I thought she brought up some really amazing points, especially about our generation. My impression of tonight's discussion is that whether you're in the State Department, whether you're at the Sundance Institute, or whether you're a marketer, we're all coming to or wrestling with the same issues from different vantage points. First of all, really thrilled to be able to be at the Levantine Center. You're doing incredible work, and I think it's so important to talk about the importance of culture and how it can make a difference in terms of dialogue and partnership building. Um, as I said in the comments that I made tonight, what we are trying to do with our embassies around the world is to reach out to the civil society. We look to the most interesting places in the world where film is bubbling up, and there's talent, and there's a need, and there's um, and there's stories that need to be told and that, that actually can change the way we see things. Uh -huh.